Hey everybody, welcome to episode 12 of Let's Play Kerbal Space Program. We'll get 0 0.90 resumed. Okay, so in our last couple of missions, we've actually bled off a little bit of funds uh, through some uh, uh, kind of, well, some difficult contracts. We still have this contract to get a visual survey, but um, I need to figure out how to get more speed into we need to get we need to be able to get up to above 20,000 meters basically to get this visual survey done uh, <clears throat> gathering science from space is always a nice little cash injection uh, liquid uh, LV 909 landed stacked a coupler in flight oh, I'm just seeing what explore the moon and visual surveys Ooh, hey position a satellite in equatorial orbit of Kerbin. We need to build a satellite to our specifications and deploy it into an equatorial orbit around Kerbin. Please note this must be a new unmanned probe built for the agency after the contract is accepted. Apoapsis is 13... 13,000 kilometers? Okay. Periapsis 13,000 kilometers. We can definitely do that, and that's going to be worth 19,000 funds. So it looks like on this one, we are going to go on a, uh, a fund hunt. While we're up there, we'll get some space from science around Kerbin. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with those two. I don't want to get myself in over my head here. Okay, so we're going to build a new probe. Um... Estes 7. So this is the kind of design that we had going on before. I don't need those guys. Any old science will do. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is... Something like this. Um, I need to go over to the, bring up the menu and head over to some of the sub-assemblies. And save this entire thing as my as a subassembly. So that's the <clears throat> the Estes launcher part. Uh, we can grab ourselves a new probe right there, and back in subassemblies, essentially attach this to that if we want to. What do we have in the way of science, though? <clears throat> we do need to do some science. So... I think that might ne necessitate a materials bay. Now, in order to complete that, I know that we're going to need <clears throat> to transmit the information. So we stick on an antenna. And we are going to need, under utility... A battery to give us enough juice to transmit that information. Uh, this scientist, this uh, uh, probe is going to be stuck into an equatorial orbit. So this is a probe core. This is just a probe core. Uh, we need uh, Autobot. So that's actually a pretty straightforward mission. Um, get some science in space, take a probe core in, probe in there. So these missions with these particular orbits, <clears throat> you can see here, um, this is the uh, orbit they want, they want out of this. So it's actually um, an orbit outside of moon, which is very interesting. Uh, if we can do this, we can start doing moon flybys. I hope we have enough juice in this particular rocket to do all that. Two of those plus boosters plus this thing. You know, that should actually be enough to get to that orbit um, outside of moon. If it's not, we will try it some other time. So I don't have SAS. 
Um, the only thing I have controlling this is this uh, sort of thing. You know, I'm going to do something crazy. We have enough parts, certainly, <clears throat> to be able to throw on another um, fuel cell here. Oops. And to get that to attach nicely. Um, if I bother to bring bring along a pod. And we know that one battery is definitely not enough for this kind of stuff. So we'll bring two batteries with us. Stick that antenna there, and I don't want. I I do I do not want any crew on this one, or do I? No, I don't plan on this being recovered. Although I could plan on it being recovered. So this is a great time, actually. Uh, for an automated flight to really test our capabilities to see with what we have to to reach the moon with this kind of thing um, reach and or land on the moon heck we could bring landing legs just to say that we have them So this would be a full mass test of landing on the moon. Um, I wonder if I can get away. What do, I, what do I have as far as engines goes? I don't have a smaller engine. This would be an automated plugs out test sort of thing. All right, let's check our staging. Yeah, we are aiming for an orbit near the moon. And a potential recovery of said orbit. Let's launch it. Craft has too many parts by one. I have one too many parts. I have too many parts by one. Uh, how hilarious. Well, all right. Let's try that. See how it goes. If this thing is actually able to land on the moon, I'm going to laugh. Um, all right. Checking my orbit. But we're going to go actually uh, head out here. We should get ourselves an equatorial launch. We don't have SAS. We could bring a pilot along if we wanted to. But I think uh, for this test, I'm more worried about the money than I am anything else. In fact, how did it didn't cost as much as I thought it might. And I got to think I'm sure I got some cash advances. All right. Quick save for safety. Cycle the gear. And I guess we're going. So I've got to manually pilot this ascent stage all the way up to an equatorial orbit as best I can. Um, this could be, if we wanted to, be pretty much direct ascent. I do not need to worry about, um, oh, the other thing this capsule provides is more torque. I do not need to worry about, um, planning for a moon encounter or anything just yet. I just need to get myself in orbit. And basically keep on pushing out uh, until I reach the desired apoapsis of 13,000 13, kilometers.
<clears throat> okay, we are now on our way with our main stage. Full throttle, please. You hear me tapping on the keys as I try to control and wrestle this spacecraft into orbit. Okay, I'm going to start pushing her sideways, letting her fall over naturally here. Slowly but surely towards this orbit indicator. And we'll just take a look at the map and watch from here. Whoa. I still want to stay kind of close to the surface because I'm actually not out of the atmosphere yet to fight off the old um, the uh, drag of the atmosphere. Keep on getting a little higher. So at this point, there is literally no reason for me to stop thrusting. Uh, except my engine is going to run out of juice here pretty soon, but I'm going to keep, keep right on going and see how far we can actually get with this stage. We are in space and still accelerating. Okay, this stage, uh, stage just burned out. Now what I can do, uh, which I will do right now since it doesn't really matter all that much, is... Um, Get some science. Observe the materials bay. The microgravity has greatly affected the growth of the crystalline structures, and we will go ahead and transmit that. Transmit. And that does give us some, uh, some funds back. Okay, uh, we're going to throttle down, kick off this stage, and see how we do with this guy. Just tapping away at the keys while I, while I do this. Now this is actually going to start picking up some steam here and really uh, getting out there fast. So I can actually start throttling down. Try to keep myself aimed directly prograde as much as possible. Okay, the uh, periapsis is 13, apoapsis 13.3, 13.3. So I really want to get this apoapsis to exactly 13.3, if at all possible. 13, 1, 2, 3. <clears throat> okay, um... Our ship is essentially coasting out to the moon at this point. Or not to the moon, it's coasting out to its orbit. So the question is, will I have enough electrical charge to make it all the way with this probe body? And I'm inclined to say, I don't know. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut down one of these batteries to make sure I keep juice. And if the probe shuts down, um, then I should be able to turn the battery back on and resume f the flight from there. So let's see how it goes. I'll, I'll catch you guys when I'm nearing the apoapsis. Okay, as you can see by the map, we are coming up on the apoapsis here. I can't tell exactly how far away I am, but... Uh, at this point, we're so close, we might as well go ahead and get ourselves positioned for our orbiting maneuver. Um, the first thing we need to do is get in here and find that battery that we saved, which is this guy, and turn on the electrical charge. So we'll let that sip out some energy here. Um, keep an eye on resources. And all we're doing is pointing ourselves at this prograde marker once again. And just get the engine started. So <clears throat> I don't know how much it's going to take to get this to come up. Or how quickly it'll go. Uh, 
I'm really hoping we're able to pull this off. That'll be awesome. Looks like we're doing fine. I'm going to slow way down for very granular control over this. <clears throat> okay, now from here, I can move things around by using radial in and radial out. So we'll just go ahead and turn radial in. Apply a little bit of thrust this way. Now a little more prograde. So that's looking pretty good. We are 0 0.6 degrees off. Uh, and the, the ascending node, so we're going to face down on the descending node and wheel that around a bit. So these types of maneuvers take very little energy to execute. How about that? All I need to do is sit here for 10 seconds, and we've got this mission done. I don't know if I got credit for it or not. Uh, hang tight. I'm going to go check out the, uh, the old um, mission control and see if we got credit for this. Okay, so we haven't got credit for it just yet, but I'm, I mean, we've got to be on the... I don't know exactly what I need to do to get this... Is this the wrong kind of antenna or something? Uh, it has power. It has an antenna. Um, yeah, I don't know what is the story is with this particular probe. Um, I guess we'll have to figure something else out in some other mission. So until the next time, this is a little bit of a frustrated Abraham saying, keep flying and stay shiny. Goodbye. Okay, so this is an official bug report. I have a reached the desired equatorial orbit around the Kerbin with reasonable deviation. Maintain stability for 10 seconds. You can see here I am. This is the probe right here. Uh, this is my orbit. I've tried this mission twice, and for some reason it doesn't think it's complete. It says launch a new unmanned probe that has power and an antenna. As you can see here by the fact that the battery charge uh, pack is being drained, there is power remaining. I also have power remaining in the Stay Putnik Mark 1 itself, and there is a Communitron attached which I can um, retract and extend, and I've even tried transmitting data. So uh, this mission is, com is refusing to complete, even though I have met all the criteria, I will give this bug report to Kerbal Space Program uh, designers and builders to see if they can't fix it. Uh, and all that good stuff. So I guess uh, this is a nice little addendum. Um, and we'll see what happens next in episode 13.